very wet time we're um, eventually getting back to doing a bit of haricot weeding. Um, I mean haricot weeding, I sort of get, you know, blow hot and cold on it. Uh, sometimes it does a really good job, sometimes it doesn't. Um, but in these beans, actually they're not hugely dirty. There's a few black grass plants, a few wild oats, some uh, broadleaf weeds, some chickweed, some cleavers. Um, and uh, sorry, it's a bit windy, but I hope everyone can hear me. Um, but it, it's, uh, it's sort of a bit of a hit or miss affair. You can see down here, you've got a, a cleaver there. I don't know if it's sure so it's, it has pulled that out. Uh, a bit of uh, field speed well there. Pull that out as well. Grass weeds, it's not really terribly good on because it's obviously got a good old tap root. So there's a there's an oat there that hasn't been pulled out, but uh, it's never going to be pulled out by a weed. But the next job we come along is, is doing some hoeing, so hopefully the hoe will pull that out. There's, a, there's another cleaver there that it's done quite a good job on. Um, but it does, uh, it mineralizes a bit of uh, 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 nitrogen, which, uh, which won't make a massive difference to these beans, but um, it'll, it'll uh, mineralize a bit of nutrients, maybe even a bit of phosphate that these beans can get hold of. Uh, the beans, are, we, we sow them on uh, 50 centimetre rows this year, uh, so we can uh, hoe them really later, because they can be quite a weedy crop. Uh, notice actually that there's a little bit of chocolate spot in the bottom of these leaves, but I'm really hoping it's not going to be a bad chocolate spot year. It doesn't really feel like it. Um, but also sowing the beans on these 50 centimetre rows uh, is also designed to do something about the chocolate spot as well, because it's to try and to sort of lessen that sort of humid microclimate that it can really develop by opening up these rows and uh, giving, um, getting a little bit of air down the rows to try and stop it developing. Uh, so yeah, we've, uh, it's good to be back on the land doing something after this terrible wet spring we're having.